Hi everyone, it's Shannon, aka QB Crossing, and today we are going to be touring a overgrown castle core island. And I have to be honest, this is probably my favorite island at the moment. I know I say that a lot, but this creator totally took me by surprise when I recently found out about their Instagram page. Ever since then, I have been loving everything that they create. You may have seen them in one of my other roundup videos for their fishing docks, but I just cannot wait to tour this entire island because every little square inch is totally perfect, like decorated to the max in the best way possible. And it's just going to give all of us so much inspiration. So let's just get right into it. The first thing that I always like to do is open up the map. So let's see what's going on here and also look at the dream address down below. I'll also have it in the description if you prefer to grab it there. But we have lots of cuties on this island as always. I really can't wait to see how their houses look. And it also looks like all of the main buildings are in the back of the island, which I'm excited to see how that comes together. You can tell that this is more of a city type of island because of the terraforming that we're seeing on the map here, but it looks absolutely beautiful and I just know that there's a ton to see, so let's actually get into it now. I of course love to open up my camera app when I get to an entrance because I like to see how people decorate their entrances. I personally think entrance decorating is the most fun part of designing an island and it really sets the stage for what to expect for the rest of the island. So I'm really getting so much from just this one kind of view right here. You're seeing some of these like castle core aesthetics coming through, so many different path codes which are just somehow vibing so well together. And then we have some overgrown elements already with this greenery, the wheat fields. We also are seeing some of those medieval walls which are looking so good. I can never seem to make those look good so I'm jealous of everyone who can. But look at this. I just know that so much work went into every little area of this island and to me that is just what makes an island so special. You can really see like how much care and dedication went into this. Like this little tiny seating area over here is just so perfect. And then the way that this is transitioning to these more natural areas just feels so seamless. I think that this is actually really hard to do to get two different aesthetics to work together and just seamlessly transition into each other. So really loving this already. Oh look, this is kind of like where the boat will come out and we have the tracks here. Looks so good. And then we have a little seating area over here on the beach, which I really like. So I love the yacht item. Anytime I see it, I automatically just love it i don't think i'll ever get sick of it i think it looks so realistic and it's probably my favorite 2.0 item so already this island is making me super happy we have so many cute little areas i'm just gonna kind of zoom in here because this little filler area is honestly just so beautiful the way that they mixed in those party lights within the trees just feels so charming and then we have like the little retro bus stop and so many other little elements here just to really tie in some of these like filler areas which i love a lot as we go through here we're kind of transitioning into more of this fishing village and i'm loving the way that the tracks kind of lead you here but then we have some more of this little overgrown path and then so many little details, like even using the floor lights over here on this little dock area is so smart. I mean, come on, this is out of control. This is so good with the storefronts up there, even the wheat fields on the roof. It just adds so much dimension. I think that this island is just truly, I don't know, this is a... A masterpiece to me there's just so much going on in the best way possible over here we have lots of items to make it feel really lived in which i love when an island feels like someone has actually been there and kind of living in the space so the paint cans really help with that and then i think even this little radio player is so just perfect and what i would kind of expect to see in a little fishing village like this 
oh i cannot wait to get back there because i'm starting to get some of this like overgrown suburban vibe but i do want to finish looking at the kind of fishing village and port first before we get over into that section so you'll notice this kind of lighter version of Colin's path with the green leaves and the creator did create it and it is available on their creator code which I will have in the description but I think it's beautiful and it works really really well with this island gives a nice amount of contrast to those darker browns and I'm just in awe of this view right here with the car parked over here and then we have the yachts on the kind of pier it's just so honestly perfect this little like boardwalk area that we got going on here and then as we come through we have another car here so it looks like it's driving by again they're just doing a really good job of making this feel realistic which i am obviously a huge fan of so we have this little fishing village over here and I just really love the way that those little docks look with the kind of party lights on them. All of the details surrounding as well are just absolutely perfect. I love this little bike rental and the sign that they're using in front just feels like I'm walking around a little fishing town and I cannot get enough of it. Over here we're gonna kind of walk on the docks and see what this looks like from some different angles. Look at that view that you get over here. This honestly feels like a little beach town that I've been on before and it is just stunning. I I have no words for this. This was one of my favorite builds that I had seen when I was doing a roundup of some unique themes, some of my favorite 2.0 builds and for good reason this is just honestly so creative and I think that all of the kind of codes mixing together here to make it feel realistic and like a real city it just is so perfect and I really like that the beaches are also accessible as well even though there's so much detail going on on the pathways here you can always kind of still access some other little areas which is really really beautiful so now that we saw the fishing village, I do want to kind of wrap around and go behind here to see what's going on with that little suburban neighborhood that we kind of got a glimpse of. So I'm really liking the mixing of the fencing and hedges as well. And I mean this diagonal path going on over here. I don't even know which way to go because there's just so much to see. But I think I'll wrap around here first because we didn't get to see maybe... The full left side of the island yet so if we went back this way we can kind of get a glimpse at how these two paths are transitioning from one another i'm going to continue on the left side of the island before we go over there but i always like to see how creators transition their pathways if you're using multiple different road codes or path codes in general I am just in awe of this the way that we have this little divider as well like that is genius and I haven't really seen anyone do that look at this over here too we have a little truck for some coffee and oh my gosh the medieval walls everywhere this is so well done I I feel like this is a this is a islands that would be like professionally made by I don't know i guess nintendo's islands are never really at this level but it just feels like a professional island if there ever was one again loving this and loving the separation between the two diagonal roads such a fun twist on the diagonal road trend and over here again i just am thinking that this divider between the two roads is one of my favorite things that i've seen so we're gonna head back here and see what else is going on on the left side of the island as we walk back here a bit more so we're seeing some more of these like farmy areas and these more overgrown areas which i'm loving a lot we have a little shed over there and some of the storefronts i'll open up the camera so we can see all of the detail that went into the second levels as well but just absolutely stunning i mean Whenever I come to an island and think like, wow, I would never have thought to do this. I know that the creator is just, you know, super inspiring because it's it's islands like this where it makes you think like, why didn't I ever think to do that? That it just it blows me away every time. 
Over here, I love these display cases as well. I love that you can put things in them and I had not realized that you could do that when the items first got released, but so cute. It looks like this is a little cafe area and a place to sit. So this mixing of these more like structured areas with the more overgrown are just so, so beautiful. I don't know if I really got to zoom into this before, but like I was saying in the beginning of the video, Every area is so detailed and well thought out, so well curated. All of the items that they're choosing just somehow work together so flawlessly. And that's to me, like I said, what makes this island really, really stand out. As we go up here, I'm panning up with the camera so we can see all of the detail. And I'll turn the camera a little bit too so we can see a bit more all of that detail on the roofs of these areas as well. That is such a beautiful view here with all of the greenery mixed in with the buildings. It's just, oh, this is stunning. The pergola over here to kind of give us a little archway for where we're walking through. And then we're starting to see some overgrown weeds and another different path here. I think this is something as well that I find really inspiring when you can mix multiple paths and make it feel seamless. I just love it and i always feel really inspired when i see something like this just the mixing of multiple themes that just will never get old for me it makes your island so interesting and it just makes every area that you're visiting feel even more special and i guess not that i think one theme is boring but it just keeps the island very very exciting so we have this kind of like overgrown train track look over here and then we have some windmills we have the bus stop over here which makes a lot of sense near the train tracks and then we have some more of this like dirt pathing coming through with the mixing of other custom codes on top even the cave over here to end this pathway is a really smart idea if you're ever wondering how to end a path because I know that is kind of hard, at least for me, on like, how do I actually end this pathway that I started here? So this is so cute. I really like that they're kind of mixing in the storefronts next to the villager house to fit in with the theme of their island. And then I'm sure that they're customizing all of the villager houses to fit each of these color palettes that they're creating. And also this gazebo over here just really works beautifully within and right next to that house. As we kind of come through over here, I don't know if I want to keep going down this way or continue towards the back here, but I think I'll continue towards the left side of the island before I go too much farther to the middle and right of the island. So we have this little divider here with this really beautiful pathway that the creator made, this road. And then we've landed on another villager house and look at how beautiful that is. I really can't get over like the use of all the different items too. Like we're getting some medieval feels here, but then we also have some more like town overgrown areas. There's just so much that's somehow working together and I just can't get enough of it. We have another villager house over here and again this transitioned really nicely that's something that i'm always working on is transitions and i know a lot of people ask me about transitioning areas so this island is going to be super inspiring for that so we have a house over here some nice little decor all around as well and then we even have just like a little parkish like seating area which looks really really nice I'm gonna come through this way and I think I'm gonna go down that incline towards the middle here. So we're seeing some of these castle towers, the castle arch, and then we have a backwards incline, which I absolutely love. And we have another arch down here and that leads to their secret beach. That's such a good way to decorate your secret beach. And all of the weed fields and overgrown weeds on the sides, I know that it takes long to get your weeds where you want them to go. So I just know that that took a while to get them exactly in place, which I admire. Okay, I am actually just totally in love with the placement of this villager house right here. The way that we have this like diagonal path kind of framing it and then we have again the party light arches also framing the pathway to the house and then some of those stalls again just also kind of framing the house here as well so i'm really loving the way that they're choosing to decorate it feels very unique and special to their island 
So you know I love a diagonal path. This looks beautiful. And I really like the way that they're doing the di their diagonal fencing. I've been trying to do this as well with some of mine, if you've seen some of my other diagonal pathing speed builds. But I think it's a really good way to place your fencing if you have a diagonal here. And then as we come along this way, what do we have here? Another like building that they created and I like that they use the wedding arch up there as well. Such a fun way to add some greenery along with the plants onto that rooftop. Just absolutely beautiful. And all of the cars mixed in here to make it feel like you're really in a realistic town just helps so much. We have a house all the way to the back of the island here. You can almost like miss some of these houses if you don't look closely because of the way that they've really covered everything with arches and the walls, but I love that it's kind of a surprise when you do find them. So this is a kind of dead end here, so I'm going to come back up this way and see if we want to head to the center of the island and go from there. So we were over here before looking at this little train tracks area. I think we could probably go up here, huh? Okay, whoa. So we have a little rooftop area over here. How lovely is this? Wow, okay. I'm blown away by this view right here. Are you kidding me? This is everything. This is just such a good kind of representation of this island. I just... I can't get over all of the greenery mixed in here with everything and also the idea of rooftops has been really fun especially with the addition of these ladders to make them actually accessible so I would love to kind of sit on my rooftop here with my hammock some snacks some music and just look out at this beauty over here and again like all the details we have some like potted plants we have different weed fields just lots of different items to really make this island come together so beautifully so we have another house back here and i'm loving that it's part of the overgrown section i am seeing so many items that i haven't thought to use before so i'm really into this like i don't think i've used that bamboo shoot lamp but it works so beautifully with this aesthetic over here so i'm really really into it and just look at this i like that you can see the diagonal from the back here too looks so nice to see that path in the back and this villager house just so perfectly decorated as well the ruined pillars in here also look great one of my new favorite items also as we come up here i think we've landed on the campsite area and look at this Okay, this is one of my favorite ways that I've seen someone decorate a campsite. So we have the kids tents on each side to really frame this. And then we have some different blanket codes. It looks like we have a little like boho brunch area, the futons, the cushions. It feels really cozy. Even the decorative bottles out there it just feels like someone's been camping here. And I just love that it's also surrounded by all of the trees as well. I think we'll kind of come down over here and see what is over this way. I'm hoping that I don't miss anything because I think it could be easy for me to get lost on an island like this, but I'll do my best. So over here we have a little cafe area, and this is actually to the left of resident services just to orient myself a bit. And I love this. I mean the bagel over here and the vin vintage cash register so cute everything on this island is just so adorable and as we walk over here okay so i kind of remember where we are because i was noting before how these areas transitioned and we have another villager house back here which just again fits in so well with the way that they've decorated as i come up over i don't think i could go through this way right now Okay, so as we go up over here, I'm going to go through the arch and see if I missed anything. Okay, so if we had went straight from the entrance, that is how we would have gotten to this area over here. So I just wanted to show you the pathway leading to it and all the beautiful pathwork and detail around this. So if we head over to resident services here, I want to go through this way as well. So this is just another really beautiful pathway. I really like the way that they're sectioning off some of these areas, decorating them, the way that they've customized all of these banners as well to really fit in with their island. 
and I think that this would be, yes, to the right of the entrance. So I think we're starting to explore the right side a bit more now. And we're seeing some really nice little filler seating areas, little kind of courtyard spaces, it feels like. Just lots and lots of detail all throughout. And we have more of these seating areas against the wall and then this really nice little grass path over here to bring in some of that castle core vibe and aesthetic as well. And then again, the transition so seamlessly into the more natural areas, which I just, I can't get enough of. Oh, I didn't even think I was going to be able to walk through that way, but amazing. I'm loving my little bunny friend over here and this overgrown pathway that we have. So I think that this is the rep's house. And if you guys do come visit on your own, I usually don't tour interiors, but you're more than welcome. I know that this creator did all of their villager houses and they did their house as well. So if you want to go inside of all of those, I highly recommend to visit the dream address. And over here, I'm loving this little kind of garage feel that I'm seeing. The surfboard in the background just looks so good. And I'm just again really liking the tracks that they're doing when they have a vehicle over here and then they have the tracks on the beach so that it looks like the car or the boat whatever item that they have there left those tracks it's just the little details that are what make makes this island and so many other islands so special and make them kind of stand out so as we come through here, I just wanted to note how much I'm loving this little dirt pathing and the way that we're seeing the greenery coming through. Look at this, the way that this curves and then we have the carriage back here. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't think I've seen anyone actually curve this dirt path before or I've never seen it done, but it looks really, really nice. And we have a little bike area with some trash bins. Again, it's the realistic elements of this island that are making it really, really stand out to me. And then we have this little pathway, which is again, just kind of framed by these party light arches and then the pergola. And I'm gonna go through this way and see what's going on here. So I'm getting lots of those farmy elements with the carriages and then just the overall pathing being done. And look at this. Wow, it's like a little kind of, I don't know, like garage for all of these carriages here. It's so well done. This is an area that I would have never thought to make, so I'm really just in love with that. And we have another one of these little uh, retro bus stops, which are just a really nice alternative to seating. So I usually would go for like a bench of some sort, but now I'm thinking I might wanna use those bus stops more often on my island. Oh, I see that we have the peninsula over here. I'm always, always looking for peninsula inspiration and how smart is it to use the pine bonsai tree in the background there to make it look like there's actually trees in the background even though it's on the beach we have an adorable bench over here with the lighthouse such a simple but effective peninsula design and i'm definitely inspired by that and we have a villager house over here again in their style with kind of fr framing it and surrounding it with those uh why am I forgetting the word? This <laughs> it must have the storage shed, the storefronts. I just love it. Okay, so I don't know. Can we go back this way or should I go behind where resident services is? Okay, so I think that was all we could get to on the right side. So we're gonna head behind resident services and go from here now. Look at this. What a nice little kind of transition area that we have. And it's just so perfectly symmetrical. Even using these curtains outside, I would have never thought to do that in front of the storefront, but big brain idea, definitely going to want to try that now. So you could go up either of the inclines and then see what's going on. And we have the pergolas really framing the area over here as well. I don't know which way I wanna go. This is so hard for me, but I think I'm gonna go to the left to make sure I didn't miss anything. And wow, we have another house on this like rooftop look here. So by adding in this little incline over here, we're adding in a lot of depth to the island. You're getting to see some of the lower levels as well. So it kind of has that same rooftop feel, but adding the house there is such a smart idea. I'm also seeing two different inclines in this view, which just adds so much 
dimension and depth. I cannot get over how smart that is. So you're noticing probably a little bit of lag on this island. That's because there's so much detail. So I personally do not mind lag at all because I feel like it shows just how much work and effort went into the island. But I did just want to note that we will probably see a little bit of lag on this island. We have some more of these docks over here. And again, I'm really liking the way that these are transitioning from the pavement to the more natural areas and adding in the docks and some water. I think water on your island always adds a lot of movement and beauty. So always a big fan of anything that includes some water. I think that this is actually their river mouth, which is such a fun way to actually treat your river mouth i really think river mouth terraforming is pretty hard so just the way that they've kind of handled that is really really inspiring over here it looks like maybe we have an apparel shop i love the little carriage out too oh yes an apparel shop i am right because it's able sisters and then we have nook's cranny back there as well um, and then I just saw that we have a lot of the weed fields down below. So you'll notice that again, they have everything covered by either walls or storefronts, depending on the area to make these buildings that might not fit in with their island actually fit. So I like this little shopping district that we have. That's nice that we have the little docks kind of leading, leading to each one, which is so cute. As we kind of come through over here, we're getting to see a little bit more of what's to come over on the left over there. And up here, oh, I love this vibe so much. It's like this overgrown garden. And again, I, I can't put or like st stress enough how much effort must have went into all of these little areas to fill up and make it just really come together. The fact that we have even more of these buildings with the storefronts i don't even know how long this must must have taken and we have the museum back here so i really like that they have the shops and the museum kind of close together i want to figure out how to get down below there i think i just maybe took a different turn so i think we've seen most of the right side of the island and now it's time to get to the middle and check out anything that we may have missed so we're going to come through, maybe go down this way and see, oh, let's see if we could go through here maybe. No, this is the part of the video where I definitely get lost, but I know that there must be a way <laughs> to get down to that bottom section. Okay, so I found out how to access this area. There was actually an incline back here right behind where these double inclines were that we went up and if you go through the arches and the pergolas we can get this really cool overpass view i mean that is insane that is honestly my favorite area on the island i can't wait to show you guys some different views of this because how cool is this it reminds me of just a movie how perfect it is with the dividers in the middle here and then all of the different methods of transportation we have the scooters we have the cars there's just so much going on here and the recoloring of Collins path is so beautiful it really looks perfect on this island everything once again it looks very realistic which i love as you all know and you can also go up here there's nothing that you can really access but i love that it's framed by two different inclines such a fun way to kind of end each side of this area and i think just having a big overpass section is such a fun idea this is really really creative and like i said definitely my favorite area on this island this it just blows me away every angle that I'm looking at here, seeing all of the greenery, all of the detail. There's just so much beauty all over this island. So I actually think that we have seen everything here on the island of Pickleton. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. I think that this is definitely going to be one of my go-to islands now. I just am really, really obsessed with every single area on this island. There's just so much good inspiration. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye!